only a test. Hey, this is Prototype 9000. I created something new. Well, not really new, but new for me. It's a water injection, water injection system via Venturi Effect. And this is what I came up with. This is my container to hold water and there's just a little hose, hose down it. A simple thing. And I got a, a Venturi pump here that I made out of various needle valves and compression fittings and stuff and hose. And another another Venturi pump. This breaks it up into smaller particles, the water that's being pumped to it. I found that when you're pumping the water, you need a valve close to the water supply or else, or else the amount being pumped changes with the volume. So I came up with two of, two of them, one to pump the water and one to split it up into smaller particles. And it saves a lot on gas and went up from like uh, like uh, 20 uh, what was I getting yeah, I was getting getting around 18 19 miles per gallon I'm up to about 24 25 sometimes 27 miles per gallon depends on the driving conditions and I'll fire it up and let you see what this thing does. This is an aquarium gang valve, by the way. You have to adjust the air intake, air intake valves, air intake, and the and the thing for the water on both of them to get an even rate of flow. You don't want to put too much in the engine; you'll lose gas mileage and knock your octane down. You just is about that flow where you just see little little tiny bubbles. And that's really all you need. And if you get air in the line, that's fine. It's supposed to happen. And you really just gotta keep fiddling with the air intake and air intake and the water flow until you get it just right. Yeah, I get pretty good gas mileage and you get lots of power. It's easy to speed with this because usually where your foot is on the gas pedal, it, you know, usually you'll be going like maybe 30, 45 miles per hour and, and you're, you know, you get used to that. You get used to that and then, then when you're just driving and all of a sudden you're doing 70 and that doesn't, you're not doing, putting any additional pressure down on the gas, the normal. Yeah, there is a big noticeable change in power. So let's do it.
I'm not going to list off parts. I think you people are smart enough to get this by yourself. Oops, that oh, looks like it came disconnected on me. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that. There we go. It'll take a few seconds for it to get back up the line. There we go. In time, I'll come up with something better than this aquarium gang valve. The last one kind of had a kind of melted on me. Hey, but hey, it works. Just got to improve it a little bit. Tell you what, it's pretty satisfying watching this bubble going through. Let's give it a little bit more water flow, see what happens. There you go. A little bit more flow in there. That's fine. Oh yeah, another thing is when you're tuning this, you gotta... Well, tuning the flow, you should do it at a high RPM above 2,500 RPMs. Or else then you keep losing pressure in the lines if you don't do that. One other thing, this is powered by, powered only by vacuum using the Venturi effect to pump the water out of the container in gravity. 